Hello and welcome to this fun little video. This is probably going to be the last video I do on this little laptop. In fact, this is another laptop that I found and it's got all these little cute features where you can add like little drawings and stuff so it's been quite fun for me. But it'll possibly be one of the last videos I do. In fact, I might have to resort back to using it because it's so cute and fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be um, investing, as I said earlier, in a new camera so that the sound as well as the visuals are actually clearer and more accurate so that's going to be good and um, yes we have had the full moon in Capricorn so as you can see I've got these little drawings on here to represent this full moon in Capricorn which has been a super moon so we've got the moon up there at the top and our um as well as because it's a time of harvest with the full moon I've got a kind of little plant there we've been harvesting berries it's got you summertime here so um, we've been picking the berries and cleaning them and doing all sorts of munching away at them like the birdies do as well as making different things with them too which is great if you're a vegan because there's tons of natural things to harvest at this time of year and it is really so much fun such a learning uh, curve as well but you know with it it's that excitement fun doing something a little bit different as well going down a different kind of route and actually growing your own vegetables plants and fruit in the vicinity of your own home really really healthy really good so, um, with that as well, other kind of, um, just going back to our little drawings here that we've got, this is butterfly as well, that's all about transformation as well, it's this time of the year too, depending on where you are of course, and for us it's summertime obviously, and in Australia and other places it's winter, but at the moment, um, you know, whatever part of the world you're at, this kind of energy is really about a transformation of kinds and a way of doing something. So it's an internal transformation that leads to an external transformation in how things are done and how you go about things and how you get along the path that you're wanting to, to take and wanting to go on. So it's that transformation and I really feel that this is through the strength of the heart chakra, through the strength of standing in your own, you know, spiritual core, and that's where the hearts come into this, your own love for self, that this can really transform in such a natural, you know, a real kind of real, that's the word, real natural way, shape and form. So you're not kind of being dictated to, um, by external factors, but you are being in your core, loving yourself, loving that core spirituality. And as a result, what is taking fruition, what is growing from that, what is transforming and manifesting into your life, is really really new and natural as well that comes about in a way that you feel aligned and the way that it just makes sense and it feels right and sits with you okay so that's what this is all about and of course you're we're all constantly transforming anyway as we go we don't all just stay the same <clears throat> and as I look sometimes I do this to take photos and we can actually see I've got um one three three on my phone here and it's the 13th of July so it looks like 13 and then 31 so it's kind of like it's like mirrored so and it's Sunday the 13th of July 3, 4, 3, 4, 8 and 12, 12, 3 boiling back down to the number 3 Trinity oh my goodness and manifestation exactly what I was talking about see this synchronicity and the way that things happen like this when you're noticing this you're on your life path these are the kind of signs you'll be noticing as well things like that happening when you're talking about something really really aligned to yourself really heart centered you'll get that sign yes you are in alignment yes you are and you'll look to something like that you'll have these numbers here and that's going to be that extra kind of um you know make it extra significant for you how cool is that yay okay i mean that's all cool when it happens in our personal life these things happen all the time and i'm always seeing love hearts for example all the time um, I mean, it's a constant for me, it's constant synchronicity and these wonderful things, it's so beautiful, it's lovely. I'm just being alive, um, simply ourselves is such a beautiful um, thing and manifestation in itself. But to see that, yeah, that's excellent, especially when it's kind of like live like that um, and you're kind of doing a video recording, that's really cool, you can like share that further out. Anyway, so, 
<laughs> all about manifestation, all about transformation as well, and how we go about getting what we want, standing in that alignment, and doing things from a place of really kind of core, centered, heart centered, real responsible in terms of really consciously aware way of doing things. So there's that sense of balance as well, and that links well with Saturn, okay? Saturn is in the midst of things, watching that everything is done. Um, and, you know, and that you are utilizing all the kind of strengths, all the abilities, all these really good memories that you've had um, and all the kind of things that you've learned from the past are being brought to the fore now. So that's what that is signifying. And now I've got coming up one, three, three, three. Okay. All right. And yeah. So, and, and again, for me, that symbolizes as well, but there's one in three, um, you know, from a kind of a purely divine and spiritually aligned way. I mean, I don't read books on this. I do hear other people talk about these, and, you know, for me, I kind of tend to say, all right, that's nice, good. <laughs> but I do stand in my core, and I will stand in my own knowledge and understanding. So for me, that is all about the one and realizing that we are all ultimately connected um, remembering that ultimate connection of the one and of course how that um, shapes our manifestation or how we go about that and again that leads right back to what I was saying before that transformation within the one the self understanding all aspects of ourselves and then of course that relating to the wider one of all of us together and then how that manifests from the spiritual and um, onto the physical there so that is absolutely fabulous and as we move on Okay, I'm getting um signification of harmony coming forward as well now in the numbers, but I'm not going to kind of keep um bringing the numbers up and into it. We are now going to move on to um a psychic tarot heart tarot, and this is the psychic tarot. If you'd like to get this, is a little mini adver advertisement, and of course, you know um. I've purchased these, but I am using them, so I'm going to be telling you what they are, so you can use them as well if you like. A psychic tarot for the heart, um, and it's always kind of good to share these things as well, um, so other people can make use of them too. This is a single card reading that um, I was going to do. Um, and I think I will start off with this. And the question that I'm really asking, and we're kind of going with this positive um, outlook and intention here. We want to get the best message on how to prepare for this week ahead. Okay. And here we go. Okay. Gonna be. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is the first time that this has come up using this um, lot of cards. It is number six. And do you know what? What was I just saying before this? I'm getting number six coming through. Harmony. All right. Woo! I love it when these things happen. Oh my goodness. Right. My synchronicity is so high. It's off the scales. So I'm likely going to be getting, uh, the people that are viewing this, you guys that are viewing this are going to be probably pretty similar, I'm imagining. Because, you know, link attracts link. So I'll probably not be getting everybody all at once seeing this because I uh, don't know if most people are really in that sync and um, as I say I am your spiritual leader and I do feel that you know it is going to be those of you out there who are really kind of like leading the way forward and shining that are going to be seeing this too so this is really cool for us as you see this sync 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 after sync um and here we've got love oh I like one. I love this one. L-U-V this one. Okay. And it is showing there as well exactly what we're talking about with this kind of manifestation, this fruition, and it is all, look at that, it's green. It is all natural. See the plant that's growing and it's like everything's intertwined. It's not just like straight lines. Everything's intertwined. And there's that connection there with them holding each other's hands. And she's got blue on, and I'm seeing blue, green, gold, and purples. So for me, that's all about that soul connection, that deep twin flame soul connection. And that does, again, reconfirm what I was saying at the beginning, if I did say it on this video, actually, but, that you know, all the videos beforehand, that this is really coming up in this time where you are going to see twin flames get together. Twin flames, for me, are different from soulmates. We all have def different definitions. For me, soulmates are... Um, really kind of like a pure um, 
can, you know, just like kind of uh, really strong family bonds or really strong friendship bonds, or bonds with your um your animals and um, animal friends as well. And <clears throat> yeah, but whereas twin flames are more kind of romantic based, you can actually have that romantic element to the relationship. And of course, some people do seem to have um, different definitions for this, but for me, that's how the two um, are quite different, that you can really have that romantic bond with your twin flame, where, you know, you're co-creating on that slightly different level. You are always kind of co-creating, especially if you're consciously aware, whether it's with soulmates or twin flames, you can co-create things together where you are total, in a total alignment and you are helping each other co-create along this path and building up and you know, following your soul and heart's destiny. But with a twin flame, you're doing that on a really, 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 um, you know, high flying uh, level where it, it, the magic is just, you literally like the energy from, you know, just one person, I mean, from us, like, for example, last year, uh, just through our real soul connection with our family, I mean, <clears throat> um, me and Lucy, we had this hula hoop. And she just happened to leave it out in the garden um, where these, where we had started to kind of first grow our plants. And I think there were, yeah, there were peas and carrots and all sorts. Well, in that specific area, we kept that, that hula hoop was kept there. Within that field of energy, of her energy, her vital energy, which obviously, you know, had transformed um, <clears throat> and um, was part of this hula hoop, which is the unseen, but again, that's a Piscean thing for me. I know these things and just, you know, it just all flows and it makes sense to me. But anyway, so she's got the hula hoop there and, um, yeah, day by day, these plants that were inside that part of the hula hoop were growing stronger and stronger. So that's the type of, you know, when someone's consciously aware, when they realize the love for themselves, and when they're really kind of um, recognizing these synchronicities, these um, the magic in life, where they're happy, etc., you're going to see these, you're going to recognize these things happen, but they will happen to such a kind of powerful degree. And with a twin flame partnership happening, these kind of things can happen too. You can see miraculous things happen where um, things just blossom, flourish, bloom and manifest in the most beautiful, positive ways. And again, it doesn't have to be with, through a twin flame relationship. This can be just, you know, by yourself, your unique um, core self working magic and, you know, the science of the, the unseen and how things just work. It's absolutely magical. And these might seem like simple things to some people, but, um, you know, I think that these are things to be cherished and absolutely adored for what they are. Okay. So love, well I haven't really gone for much further into this, but as I said, with the colours there we're looking at a peaceful love because there's that knowingness, that purple, um, so there's the soul recognition and understanding, the intertwining, so the, um, the, the coiling, to, intertwining together is that the soul merging and recognising each other and working on that spiritual level of Pure appreciation for one another in their own selves and then for each other and uh, you know the world's about them here with this uh, this green that you're seeing the nature and how um, they're able to manifest so much goodness um, between them there and things are really growing and, and taking off and you've got the, the yellow as well the orange there so there's passion there there's real love and things are kind of flourishing there and growing and that sun as well that really sunny yellow color too and yeah, let's turn it around and see what it says. Keywords, relate, choose, harmonize, romance, creativity, reconciliation. Ooh. Take some time to examine your relationship with others as well as yourself. Just what we're saying ourselves. Are you coming from a place of love? It's important to emphasize remain non judgmental and love people for who they are. The same applies to your relationship with yourself. Mm -hmm. There's an opportunity now to bring your being into a harmonious whole. Forgive your faults and rejoice in your perfect uniqueness. It may also be time to examine the choices you make regarding matters of the heart. Are you choosing to have people in your life who support and empower you? Surround yourself only with those who encourage and sustain you and who push or guide you to be all that you can truly be. This will help you value yourself and raise your vibration of that of unconditional love. 
There may also be an opportunity for a new romance, for improving an existing romance, or for healing a disharmonious relationship. Seize this energy and take action. If you're looking for a new romance, make yourself available and be open. And see and feel it in your life right now. This will raise your vibration and attract new love to you. If you're looking to improve an existing romance, then maybe it's time to be creative. A weekend getaway, a romantic dinner, or simply telling the person how much you love and appreciate them. To heal a disharmonious relationship, open a dialogue. Let the person you know um, know that you value the relationship and want to improve it. Affirmation. I honour myself as well as others by acting from a place of love. And it's the lovers. So again, that's how it's written. You're going to know how it relates to you. Only you're going to know that. Um, and you can decide for yourself what is going to be best suited and what's going to really work for you out of that and what you can really kind of translate from that picture there because this also is a sign of that things are harmonious and if you're requiring more harmony with them then there is certainly that um, is coming about and that's going to prepare for this week so I think as well, if you are, if you're single and you you want to have a relationship, then or if you're in a relationship, you want to improve it. You've got to see the possibilities, and you can use the memories and also first and foremost what you deserve and what you desire from your core. Use those to kind of build a picture in your mind and really think what does it look like and then think you know what does it really feel like to be in that type of relationship and to build this um, even greater harmony okay and it is also a sign that you are very harmonious yourself you're living in that core so that is really great and just continuing that is really going to be the main message I feel for getting prepared for the week ahead so that's pretty cool could mean that you're actually going to be meeting someone <coughs> if you haven't already. How cool is that? Hmm. Okay, so we are going to do some now for the week ahead. And let me just see what I think is going to be good. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to do the beginning of the week, the middle of the week, and the end of the week. So three cards here. And this is the beginning. So Monday, Tuesday, okay, to Wednesday. Oh, I've got to keep going. And then um, so from Wednesday to Thursday, yeah, Friday-ish. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so for the beginning of the week, we have got dedicated effort. All right, so this could be blah, 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 blah. could be dedicated effort to yourself, and um, you've got that preparation there. Um, so it could be maintaining um your own love for yourself in terms of maybe what you're eating, how you're eating how you're drinking, how you're nurturing yourself, could be choosing some vegan ideas from my site, um, getting involved in the course that's coming up, could be registering for the course, dedicating your focus on your self-love. Okay, and that of course in turn is going to lead to greater and greater love um, with other kind of partnerships as well things coming to fruition there. It could be also related to this very Capricorn film and bringing about you know, a sense of work or um, a focus, a project that you're doing. So it's really kind of aligning to that and you're really going to feel um, in strengthened, it's my word, yes, and strengthened and you know, in really embracing this time of where you feel like things are really going to be able to take further fruition really positively here. And through this dedicated effort in yourself, in your heart, chakra, and we'll see lots of transformations, lots of really good things continue to take shape from this. So it's work, perseverance, skill, and understanding. So that's how I am, um, yeah, 
choosing to look at this. Use these tools to continue to nurture relationships. Links back to the other one. With family, friends and your partner. Yep, you've shown that you know what it takes and that you're dedicated. Mm -hmm. This is one for someone with really good interpersonal skills, so... Um, yeah, very good. Okay, you have what it takes to sustain positive, loving, supportive relationships. Keep up the good work. Alright, so that's all good there. And first and foremost, that relationship with yourself. So dedicate that, um, you know, that real kind of spiritual soul love as well as the physical love for yourself. So in terms of what you eat, what you drink, exercise, all these different things, going out walks in nature, exercising out in nature, etc, etc. Real dedication to yourself and your soul. And uh, that'll help all other relationships too. This is great because the next one for the middle of the week is all aligned to everything that we've been talking about here. It's this heart chakra. And I just mentioned that in the very previous um, card there. Coming, that, that effort, dedication, standing within and for your heart chakra, your self love. This is a week coming up, as I say, I'm going to put this out there again. Four is also um, a number of peace. And again, this harmony is also strong for this week. This is a really good reading, really powerful, really love and heart centered. And we are kind of moving, you know, we're in these wonderful signs of um, also, you know, Cancer with Sun sign moving into Leo. So these are really strong emotional times here. Well, we're, you know, our, our bonds, our, our own spiritual bond, our own understanding, our inner understanding, our inner creativity, our own desires, I mean, all these taking shape and this kind of sense of family um, and doing, you know, things from a, a positive um, and also a really kind of nurturing way, first and foremost for self, affecting everybody else as well. Um, it's all really part of what we're going to be doing here and it is part of this kind of... Um, you know, getting into Leo as well, and um, which is all about the heart chakra, heart being heart centered, being in your truth and aligned. Um, as I say, for me, when I'm looking at my own sign being Pisces and Leo North Node, it is that carrying through your spiritual leadership, um, from that heart center. So we'll get everything going for us um, this next week. Absolutely brilliant! You're loving that green color. So it's all natural, it's all about being truthful in your truth, in your heart center, following your heart, um, and following the truth, in other words, through that, and this is a time of harmony, compassion, compassion um, relationships and healing, and it's believed to be the link between the mind, body and soul, of course, and that's why we get that balance there through the heart chakra, and being completely aligned. To activate it, take a moment to send from your heart loving healing energy in the form of blue and green waves. Blue and green, these are the colours of castle, simple, loss, um, signage there through um, Clyde Muir Shield. That's really, really cool. Love that. Blue and green for peace and healing. Send this to everyone and everything unconditionally. This love will be returned to you for your own healing. So send it to yourself as well, first and foremost, and send it to others. I absolutely love this color. Blue and green next week. Very blue and green. Purple in there too. But I think all the colors of the rainbow are really going to be involved as they are every day. And every day of the week to be honest. But I really love this. Um, green color. I've worked with the color green lots in the past. I'll come about talking about that in another future video, no doubt. But yeah, heart heart chakra. So one more point about this heart chakra and what's coming up here and how everything's coming up with the lovers and the heart chakra. This is all love, 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 love and peace, peace and love. And we are going to be coming up on Exactly what this is all about. We are coming up on a major event. It is the ultimate event of this year. It's named simply L U V Love. 
truth, simplicity, heart-centered, soul's destiny. This is what this is all about. And it is a course and gathering, more a gathering actually, but we're all going to be talking and learning and transforming and and really gaining more nurturing through it for ourselves, for each other. It's going to be wonderful. And it's going to really set the scene, I feel, for further loving ourselves and also our loving relationships that we have in our lives. And really maintaining and aligning to that soul's, heart's, greatest destiny and life path. It's on the 22nd of July all the way to the 27th. You can choose individual days yourself or just the one um, lot at the weekend. Um, I'll say the whole, week, the whole week through if you would like all the way to the weekend. So that's going to be something I'm dedicating to and certainly I'm looking forward to what that's going to bring for me and that's going to bring for everybody else on such a larger um, scale as well across the world. It's a global event, it's open to everyone and anyone. You choose your own time so you can actually get a recording for your own time or you can choose to have it um, if you're aligned to the time that I'm going to be running it um, live then you will get that live as well. Okay, you also get recordings of this. Um, it will be fully open to public registration from tomorrow. But for people that are subscribed or on page love or subscribe to this channel, then you can actually get in just now. And the password is Pav Luz Amor U. And that is spelt P A Z L U Z A M O R Y O U. You have to make sure that you've got capital letters at P L A and Y. Interesting spells. Play. Yay. So it's all about creativity as well. Relax. You're going to have a wonderful time during this great meetup that we are having. It is going to be the ultimate event set you up the year ahead and beyond. Trust me on that one. Heart Center. Go and get yourself registered. It couldn't be clearer signs for this. So, we're going to look at the week, the end of the week then. Take the lead. I don't think this could be a clearer message. I really don't. This is number three and it's also about manifesting. But where do you manifest from? You've got to take the lead. You've got to be in your heart alignment. There's that harmony. So all of this is relating to someone who's watching this. You're going to be harmonious. You're going to be um, soul-centered, heart-centered. And you're living your um, path in alignment with your soul's desire, soul destiny, through your heart center. And you're living in love for yourself, for others. And you really are ready to take the lead. So do get involved with this. Please do. We want all these kind of um, leaders that are able to take forward and to shine out. People that are already doing this. We want these types of people on this gathering. This is so essential. So do this. Come on board. Take the lead. Share with us. You know, you're going to be confident, I'd imagine, so um, you can share during the course as well. There's going to be a platform there for you to speak as well over this um, mode of communication. If you would like to remain more behind the scenes, even if you are a leader and you'd like to kind of take a step back and sit and really kind of like nurture yourself more, that is fine. Um... You can do that on this opportunity too, um, where you just simply listen in. So there's all modes of communication available there. And you really do have that um, opportunity to take the lead in any shape or form, whether that's taking the lead and sitting back and listening and um, deciding I'm going to be you know, doing lots of listening and just fully nurture, take time to nurture here, lead in that way. Or you might want to lead in terms of being more vocal, be more communicative getting involved that way then go for it do you're very much welcome i'm really really pleased to have um, confident people on board with me that is really essential but i say if you're looking to build up your um confidence in that way shape or form don't worry you can also um take the lead in terms of you know deciding what you're going to do whether you'd like to be a mega full part of it or if you would just like to kind of listen in 
But certainly this could manifest in different ways, um, not just in terms of this, but also in any um, shape or form way for the end of this week. Um, you might want to take it as taking initiative, in which case do go and get registered. Certainly by the end of this week, which is going to be... Let me just double check. Yeah, the end of this week is the 20th. So we're really going to have to be um, closing down. That's right. We're really going to have to be closing down our registrations for the end of this week. So right at the end for your weekend, your 19th to the 20th, really going from the 18th, 19th, 20th there, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you really want to be making sure that you are taking initiative, that you've got registered up for this. Um, it does start on the 22nd on the Tuesday, so registrations will be closing. I think I'll probably be closing them um, probably by the end of the week there, um, no later than Monday the 21st. Yeah, I think we'll go for the 20th to be on the safe side because that's what the cards are kind of coming up with here as well. So if you can make sure that you're taking the lead and taking initiative, certainly by this end of the week, um, whichever it is that you need to do, whether it's getting involved and making sure that you're on this um, gathering with us um, to maybe what you want to share. If you're um, co confident, open, ready to share something, if you'd like to do that, if you'd like to co-create in um, a more specific way with us, get in touch as well. Um, it's divinelove at outlook.com and you can also find the links below this video. Now it says here, strong energies for success are around you, so um, as new op opportunities are opening up, tap into this energy to fire up your relationships and bring you all that you desire regarding matters of the heart all matters of the heart and we're all linking here to this bigger picture I really love it <sighs> call down the divine flame Woo! twin flames sparking call down the twin flame so as you know you're already in union with your um, soul's destiny with the wider world with your twin flame even you're already in union okay it's not just like a relationship a kind of dynamic is a connection and you're calling down this twin flame so you're not really calling down anything but it's just a way to help focus and get you you know make sure you're maintaining that alignment and really kind of drawing into that energy Call down the divine flame to ignite your passion and show you the way to achieve your deepest wishes. And again, this is what this is all going to be about on the course. It's all going to lead forward from this. Don't wait for the other person to make a move. Take the initiative. Be bold. Now is not the time for the status quo. And again, this is all about this transformation Capricorn energy leading us further forward here. Use this beautiful fiery energy to explore new possibilities. How can you spice up current relationships? Oh goodness, hang on a second. This sounds really quite um this sounds quite like Leo energy that we're really getting here <laughs> towards the end of the week. And it is interesting because I think we do move something moves certainly into Leo by about the sixteenth. I'm sure is that Jupiter moves into Leo on the sixteenth. Right, um, ooh, okay, I'm going to double check that, go ahead and check it, and maybe if you're watching this you're going to know that off the top of your head, but to me, intuitively, which I really love working on best, this does really signify this Leo type of, yeah, stuff, it's looking at quite 80s, and of course, we can all utilise all these signs as we are all connected, um, yeah, so, if you are, what did it say, oh, wait a minute, got to go back, yeah, use this beautiful fiery energy to explore new possibilities. How can you spice up current relationships? Um, how about learning a new skill with your friend or taking the family on a special vacation? If you're looking for a new relationship, think creatively and try new ways of meeting someone. Step out of your comfort zone and be a little daring. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's very leader. That's very Leo. Very Leo. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it's going to be an absolutely amazing week. I'm so pleased. And as you saw, every single one of those was completely um, picked and chosen, completely shuffled and chosen there through this at this period of time. So 
a wonderful reading. I'm so, so pleased to be able to share this with you. And as your spiritual leader, I'm really, really pleased that I can bring this positivity to the fore through myself. This is part of my destiny. We're all working on these things together. And I am really, really, really pleased to be shining this out there. And I'm really looking forward to meeting lots of other leaders who are also shining, becoming part of the course. That would be wonderful. I'd love to co-create with you on this. Um, you know, everybody, I'd love to co-create with you. Whatever level you are really kind of finding yourself at in terms of confidence levels, everybody's welcome here, as I say from whether you want to speak out and take the lead that way and um, shine out really clearly or whether you like to take a little rest in the background, do a lot of nurturing for yourself, whichever way it is taking the lead in, whichever suits your character, your kind of star sign, your sort of soul destiny, go for it. I would really love for you to be joining us. As I say, from what this, these cards are saying and how I'm feeling, it feels like we're really going to have to wrap up the registrations. So registrations will open fully to the public from the 14th which is tomorrow that's monday and we will be wrapping up those registrations by sunday evening okay so that's going to be the last time to really make sure that you've taken that initiative taken the lead there gone ahead and got booked up if you do that now though there's still actually a really good chance of you before the 14th of getting a really excellent discount on that so go ahead, have a look, use that password, it's down below. Make sure you're going to the home page, and then it's like page four or something, middle page. Go sign in there using that password, get yourself registered up, because you're going to get an excellent discount if you do that. No! If you don't, and you're still waiting to the end of the week, that's fine. You're just going to have to um, make sure that you are signed up, as I say, by um, Sunday at the very latest. Take that lead, take the initiative, get involved. I would really love to welcome you and um, have you take part in this. Thank you very much for being subscribed to this channel. Thank you very much for um, also liking Page Love as well. And um, I look forward to sharing this time with you on this gathering. It is going to be great. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be sharing ideas on vegan food tips. We will also be sending out to you, if you would like, some herbs from our garden. We've got lots of herbs like chives and parsley and all sorts of different kind of bits and pieces. And they're gorgeous. They're really healthy because they're growing right in our garden. Nothing sprayed on them. No nasties. Nothing like that. Um, fresh beautiful Scot Scottish pastures, Scottish fresh air. So we'd like to share those with you too. We'll probably do a little bit of that if you'd like some. And then um, we'll be sharing how you can cook these different vegetables and fruits and things. Can new ideas, new recipes really inspire us all and get us going. And it really is excellent for me. I love doing these. As you know, they say it's like when you teach, you're learning as well. But for me, it's not teaching. I, I think that's a, for me, that term just doesn't, doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it's facilitation. I am a spiritual leader, yes, but I am a facilitator first and foremost. And so, yeah, when I'm facilitating, that really signifies for me that word facilitation is like you're learning and you're kind of co-creating in terms of, you know, other people are being inspired by you too, but you're inspiring each other. Okay, but you're kind of maybe like giving the the hosting there and you have the overview kind of thing. But yeah, it is very kind of co-creative and I'm very aware of that. So thank you very much um, for joining me in all these wonderful opportunities that we can share together. So what else will we be doing apart from the vegan stuff? We are going to be, oh, this is very real for me, um, for my kind of Pisces sign. We're going to be doing lots of kind of healthy stuff keep fit. You can take part in the um, actual exercise or you don't have to. I mean as I say you don't have to have a camera sitting on you to do this. You can wait and you can do this later on in your own time or you can take part in it but you don't have to have your camera on or your speaker on. You can actually see me and then follow the movements as well so you're taking part in it and then you can go and like take breaks if you need to or chill out or just go at it you know you know, whatever level you feel that you're at, whichever is best for you, just go with that flow. 
we're going to be having lovely, relaxing, serene moments of meditation bliss. And I am going to be bringing through how we manifest from this point pure potentiality. So we're going to be talking about intellectual things as well, very spiritual things, and how they merge, of course, with the dark and the light and that pure potentiality. So taking that on that really kind of responsible, positive, proactive um, approach in terms of the dark and light and how it can be used as pure potentiality. And what how that opens up things for us. So that's that. And um yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So thanks very much for joining me. I am your spiritual leader, first and foremost, the facilitator of this wonderful um project that we call love. Simple as that, L U V. And I am gonna be joining you on the 22nd of July onwards, all the way to the 27th of July 2014 for Love, the ultimate gathering of 2014. I look forward to sharing that time and space with you very, very soon.